Good morning, Western Hills, and welcome to Cougar Pause for Tuesday, September 30th. The last day of September. How do you keep that straight? Oh, there's a saying to help you remember how many days in each month. It goes, 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except February, which has 28, except leap year, and then it's 29. Skier. I, I could teach it to you. That's all right. Now back to the matter at hand. Please stand for the Pledges of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible, Please join us in a moment of silence. Discipline, let's talk about it. Do you exercise di self-discipline or are you the kind who needs discipline from an outside source? If you exercise self-discipline, you might be able to stop listening for a few, but if not, you need to listen up real good. Here's the first one. Students who drive to the school must see the registrar, Ms. Jordan, to get a parking tag. In order to do that, you must have a driver's license and a proof of insurance. When you park, stay in the lines. That may be hard for some of you who never learned to color inside the lines, but it's a must. If you want to park in the west parking lot, be prepared to pay a whopping $25 for the privilege. It only costs $15 per year to park in the south parking lot. And for you really cheap parkers out there, you may park for free in this last two rows of the south parking lot. That's right by Chapin Road, but for you, we'll call it Cheapin Road. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you plan to park, you must have and display a parking tag. The volleyball team is having a shoe drive. Their goal is to collect at least 500 pairs of shoes. In order to do this, they need your help. I don't have any information about prizes for the class that collects the most shoes, and in a way, that's probably good. If we would just look around us, students at high schools all around us are doing amazing things. Things that are so amazing they make the national news and makes, make the oldsters say, hmm, high schoolers aren't so bad. So let's take this on because it's a good thing to do and the world needs to know that we care. Are you an athletic supporter? Huh? You knew we'd eventually go there. If you're the type who likes to see a great game or pulls for the underdog player, the basketball team has a deal for you. They are selling insulated cups with logos from the college, NBA, and NFL teams and Western Hills. Any basketball team members can take your order. The cups sell for $10 and the profits will help to outfit the team. We do have a couple of homecoming reminders for you. These will be quick because we've already kind of given these announcements a good deal of play. So, voting is Thursday and Friday for homecoming court and the deadline to turn in your request to bring a non-student to the homecoming dance is Friday, October 3rd. In both instances, IDs are required. And finally, Cougars Got Talent auditions are today and tomorrow. See Ms. Rue in the choir room if you have any questions. Tomorrow we will bring you a story about a Western Hills graduate, his success as an architect, and his efforts to give back to his school. I hope you know that all of us here at CBN and Cougar Paws want the best for you. We want you to succeed. Last week I told all of you guys to get out there and ask that girl to homecoming. Now, some of you are slow starters, so we have made arrangements to bring in a special guest. Relationship expert, Noah, of the ARC. So Noah, what makes you a relationship expert? Look around you men. Do you see animals around you? Of course you do. Do you know I'm responsible for all that? What do you mean you're responsible for all the animals around us? Years ago, I entered an ad on G's list for a case manager in a group home. No one said anything about it being a houseboat. Houseboat. A group home on a houseboat. A huge one. And the residents, they were animals. That bad, huh? No. I mean animals. Real ones. Two of every kind you can imagine. And every example, every couple was dysfunctional. Not a one of them could get along. But I do think that, do you think that stopped me? No way. I spent 40 days and 40 nights working with those animals. And by the end of that trip, that ark was a love boat. So what advice do you have for our listeners who haven't out, who've gone out there and gotten a homecoming date yet? Here's the way I see it. They can either sit around wishing they had a date or they can take the bull by the horns and just do it. Just do it? 
how do they just do it? Like this. Just step up to the girl and say, Aubrey, will you go to homecoming with me? Well, there you have it, Cougars. Our official yearly attempt at a dating hookup courtesy of Cougar Paws. Thank you, Western Hills, and have a terrific Tuesday. Michael, will you go to homecoming with me? Yeah. <laughs>